Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android SQLite database tutorial with Android Studio. So in the previous episode we already learned about how to retrieve a particular row from the database. Now we are going to learn how to delete a particular row from the database. So this is the layout used in the previous episode. So here I am going to add another button for performing the delete operation. So add a new button into this layout. Go to the XML text version of this XML file. Change the text of the button into delete contact. Also, we need to add an onclick method for this button. So, Android onclick, I name it as delete contact. Now we have to define this method on the search contact activity.java file. So public void delete contact add the view argument ok. So here we are going to delete a particular row based on a username. So the user have to enter a username here and he can search that particular contact and if he click the delete contact button that particular contact is removed from the database. So we get the contact name, we get the user name from this string variable search name. So now we have to add the needed methods into the user db helper class. So go to the user db helper here I am going to add a method for delete error. So public public void. I name the method as delete information. Okay, delete information. For this method, we need two arguments. First one, we, we are going to delete a particular row based on a username. So, we need the username here. So, string username. And we need the object of SQLite database. I name it as SQLite database. Okay. So, first we have to specify the condition. So, here the condition is the username. We have to delete a particular username. So I copy the same code segment. Here is the selection user contract. This is the contractor class and we got the username from and this is like. Okay. So this will delete. This is the where condition. So it will select a row which that contain this username. Okay. Now we have to specify the arguments. Selection arguments. So here the selection argument is got from this attribute username. Now we have to delete that particular row. So for delete a row you have to call the delete method using the SQLite database object. So SQLite database dot and call the method called to delete. Here first you have to specify the table name. So we got the table name from the user from the contract class. So new user info dot our table name is get from this variable table name. Now we have to specify the where condition, it is selection and finally you have to specify the selection argument, so selection ARGS. So this will delete a particular row from the table. Ok, now go back to search conduct activity. Here we got the username from this variable search name and we have to initialize other two objects, first one is the user db helper and also we have to get the sqlite database object so user db helper is equal to new user db with the attribute get application context and here is the sqlite database object now we have to call that method so user db helper dot delete information first we have to pass the username we got the username from the string variable username is not available here what is that variable name it is search a name it is search a name it is search a name okay here the username is 
search username search name so we have to change that one into search name this one okay so this will delete that particular row from the database so we have to display a user information okay also we need to pass the sqlite database object so sqlite database object okay and finally display a message for the user make test uh, get the application context get base context contact deleted contact deleted also specify the length for the toast make it into long and finally make the toast visible okay now we finish the coding now we can run the application so now I am going to run this application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device first we have to check how, how much of data is available on the database so click view contacts so here three rows are available now I am going to delete particular row with the name Rashmi and now click back button and now search that particular contact click the search contact button and search the contact with the name and click search button now we have the information based on that particular contact now I am going to click the delete contact button now that particular row is removed from the table now we can check it out click back button now click view contacts now you can see that particular row now is removed from the database I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode